Yeah. Should we do one more song or not? Let's do one more. Yeah. Okay, Surprise let's, us let's with something. Let's do a little star. Okay. Like a for, yeah. All right. For something completely different. Okay. What was the inspiration for this? For which? Little star. Lola. Oh. Otherwise known as Lourdes Maria. Ah. <laughs> How's she doing? It's my one. It's my one super sentimental song on the album. Well, everybody should have one of them. I exactly. Think. She's, she's doing great. She'll be here later. She's sleeping through the we night. Always, she's well-behaved. We always, we do, Pat, don't we do like a, we do a test thing on her. Like, where is Pat? Where's my engineer? Uh, oh. Another pass well, we always bring Lola in when we're, we're, when we're like three cars away to do a song, and if she grooves to it, then we know we're, we're in the right place. Is she pretty accurate about that? Oh, yeah. Oh. Right, William? William? <laughs> no, she likes to sit, she sits here, and she sort of rocks out at the faders. Oh, good. Does she, does she fool with the controls at all? That would um, be interesting. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Specifically, this little bank right here, this she likes. Excellent. She always wants what she can't have. Don't we all? Mm -hmm. Okay. Where's Pat? He has to come in here. No hiding. <clears throat> We'd like to meet all these guys and he can introduce us to tell us which I guy does. I and, will. Okay. Perhaps rate them. Yeah. Rate them, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Well, they're going to get tens, all of them. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Marius, did you, do we have a dad somewhere for this? Little star? Pat, don't be hiding in the hallway. Pat's our seriously shy Irish engineer. Shy? <laughs> He's a PETA. He's a what? He's a PETA. William's a Vata. Marius is a Vata. I'm a P I'm a Pita Vata. You're a Vata Pita. Those are our doshas. What language is this we're talking? It's you know what a dosha is. No. You know who Deepak Chopra is? Yes. I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, he has this whole. It's actually it's based on Ayurvedic medicine. Uh -huh. Whenever you, a dosha is like a, a body type. Yeah. It's it's more complicated than endomorph, ectomorph, and, and mesomorph. It's more like the way your personality is, the way you look, your uh -huh. your spirit, everything, and you. You um, you eat and exercise and like your diet and everything you do is based on what your dosha is. So you, you, your personality you, type. So do you like, buy all of this? I mean, you're into, you're a, a chopper thing. I buy everything. Well, no, that's not true. I mean, <laughs> obviously. But. Well, I think there's something to be learned. To be learned. I mean, I mean, he said once that he's from a land where wizards actually exist, and I thought, you know. But they do. Oh. There are wizards in this room right now. Okay. <laughs> As don't we know? But I guess you're right. No, I mean I he's talking about the world you can't see. Oh. And that's definitely true. Okay. Well, everything you see, everything you see in the world around you is only one percent of what actually exists. But we, we don't have to get into that conversation no, right now. No. We don't want to frighten let's, the let's audience. Let's put that off. Yeah, really. Well, this is Pat McCarthy, my engineer. Okay. Uh, what, what is Otherwise what, known as Pat Man. What, is, what, what does Pat do? He usually works with a cape on. <laughs> um, he's an engineer. But I mean, what makes him so special? Well, he has the facade of being incredibly serene. <laughs> oh, that can't be easy. Uh, did, are you enjoying this? Yes. No, he's he's really good because we we can all sort of go off and uh, go off a bit. You know, mm. sometimes because there's a lot of people working in this room, it's a cramped space. Yeah. Um, sometimes you know, feathers get ruffled, and Pat always you know keeps everybody calm. Feathers get ruffled. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> and you have yeah. no feathers left, I see. <laughs> he's the unruffler. <laughs> So they, these tracks seem really, really dense with stuff. Is this hard for an engineer to keep it all, like, discreet? Discreet. <laughs> discreet. <laughs> Isn't that a technical term? Discreet. Come on. Um, it comes to me pretty well arranged. Well, okay, I guess that so, says it all. All right, we'll I move can, on. I can just turn this right around. <laughs> <laughs> to whom? To, what, to William Arbit. Oh, let's go over here. William? <clears throat> William Wainwright III? Damn, little <laughs> stools in the way. Otherwise known <laughs> as William Orbit. And what is what is William brought to this project, Madonna? Um, Wow, that's a big question. <laughs> well, a certain brand of sort of madman type genius, really. Mm. Would you say that's yes. accurate? I'm the last to know. <laughs> <laughs> he's not very... Um, Talkative? Well, yes, he's rather shy. There's a lot of shy people in this room. Um, <laughs> so I don't know about this camera thing, but um, he... I think this is the first time he's actually ever had to talk to somebody while working on a project. Oh. Oh. So he's used to working by himself. How's it, how's, how's it going, this, this project? It's an unusual sounding Madonna record for one thing. It's an unusual sounding record altogether. There's a few concepts I've been Don't be nervous, <laughs> William. <laughs> 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 well, 
Thank you for introducing me to We share a lot of things in common. We like candy, we like sugar, we have cookies. Oh, good. These are, our, these are William and I's favorite cookies. I think there's scotch and steaks that come out. Bio waffles, and the only reason that I worked with him actually is because he promised to have a constant shipment of Cadbury chocolate shipped in from London. I didn't know you were a chocolate fan. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, sugar. Wow. We had sugar them, we had them FedEx over the first class. Oh, yeah. So, so what, have you, what have you added to this record? It sounds unusual. Um, Crunch. Crunch, bites, bubbles, chewiness. Huh. Uh, <laughs> There's a yeah. lot of bubbly bits. Lo lots of goodness. <laughs> there is a lot of bubbly bits. Yeah, yeah. I noticed yeah. that. Um, a, a crunchy exterior, soft, yeah. warm interior. Did I hear backwards <laughs> guitars somewhere? At uh, point? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard that in a long time. Really? How long? Yeah. Well, this five is decades. William's way, of, <laughs> <laughs> William's way of making the record sound good is to put everything through the Marshall. Oh. And oh, so, so excellent. <laughs> yeah. So have there been some loud guitar nights? I'm trying to picture you here while they're playing the loud guitar parts. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had loud guitar nights. We'll show you the guitar garden later. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, can we move on to another uh, little helper? Okay. Um, let's go over here. Oh, all right. To Marius. Yes. Marius Van Wick. <laughs> I'm sorry to patronize you. <clears throat> I worked with Marius on my bedtime story mm -hmm. record. So this is a lot different from that, I, I would assume. Yes, it is. In what uh, way? Um, the music's different. Naturally, soldier. naturally, Marius, I know that, but I mean... Uh, there's more sort of, I don't know, more, more synthesizer stuff, mm -hmm. more interesting... More techno, abstract sounds. ambient yeah. stuff. Techno, yeah, I suppose it's a bit more techno, isn't it? But yeah. it doesn't seem to fall into any genre like that. It doesn't seem to fall well, that's into what's a, good about a label it, isn't it? at all. Yeah. We don't want to fall yeah, into a genre. You don't want to be oh, falling into a label. Yes, I just, that was a test. I'm glad you responded to it. Well. Pass? Yes, you did. You get a, you <laughs> get a <laughs> 10. <laughs> we set trends, we don't follow them. Naturally, needless to say. Exactly. Now there are others, I understand. Yes, and we have a code of we have a code of speaking to each other, right? You talking deep rock, deep rock, Chopra? No. Speak, oh, no. no Would you like to demonstrate? It's, it's more, it's more like Marines, like a permission to speak frankly, Master Chief. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Master Chief. <laughs> like when you're when you're talking, what do you say? To disagree, Master Chief. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what happens. We have we have a healthy respect for my authority. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that comes in really handy. <laughs> Who else should we talk to, Madonna? Um, Matt! Matt, come over here! Matt's got no respect for authority. Exactly, <laughs> which is, we need one rebel okay. up against the door. <laughs> <laughs> William, okay. I know that, that shy routine. You're free. <laughs> um, Matt, basically, um, is okay. our uh, scapegoat. Oh. Has it been a pleasant experience for you? When he's Pleasurable. not talking on, his, on the phone to his girlfriend or chain-smoking cigarettes. Ooh, <laughs> in California, you know, that's, that's not allowed. He's, um, he does a lot of patchwork. What do you really do? The hard stuff. Yeah, which is... <laughs> it all seems hard. I, mean, what you... well, I wrote the album, sang on the album. <laughs> um, I did everything, basically. A bunch of jokers. Okay, so... <clears throat> all right, so you're sort of a mystery man. You're sort of a... Uh, Plug in stuff, <laughs> turn up the volume, <laughs> hook yeah. on microphones. It's accurate. And he gets food from Cuckoo Roo chickens. <laughs> you get food from Cuckoo Roo. A few people yeah. are all on the edge, I when guess. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically when we're tired and hungry and pissed off, we'd look at Matt. And they ask me pleasantly to <laughs> help him out and in any way they do. You respond. Exactly. Sure. <laughs> yes. All right, good, good. Um, Matt's one of those guys that, you know, you, we definitely couldn't make the record without, though. Well, then why? Why? What is it that you're... What's so good about you? He's My like, attitude. He's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's attitude. an underdog. He's the underdog. You know, he's the guy that plugs in everything. Oh. I've got the best attitude in the music business, I'd like to say. Well, I'm still confused about this, but I'm sure it'll be cl come clear as we... As oh, we he also it. types up lyrics on the computer. Oh, good. Okay. Now, that is, comes there, in is there handy. anyone else? I, I think there is. Well, Guy series here. Okay, Guy. And everybody knows who Guy is. No, no one knows who Guy is. Guy... Oh, please. Well, I mean... That's his you. birthday. That's your birthday. Oh, 20, 23, 25. Oh my God. Wow. Do you think Thank you'll see twenty six at this rate? Yes. yes. Okay. Looking forward. To now, what has been your uh, your your role in this album? Um, oh, get out. Just helpful, helpful friend. Oh, stop no, being so general. Come on. He's the guy that comes in and like withholds all compliments. See, like we play him tracks and he says nothing and leaves, and then we have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I guess every family needs one of those. You know, he's our our discerning ear. Oh. He's, he's made some really helpful comments. Have you killed any tracks outright and said so this just can't go? No. No, but he's no. killed some goofy ideas. He really hates those icy strings. 